Hello everyone, the Disney price here. Since Walt Disney World opened last July, the park has been bombarded with restrictions and rules that guests had to follow. Over the next few days, Disney is starting to relax these measures and today, I'll go through what measures are being lifted. Disney really is making it seem that a complete return to the magic is not too far away. But before we get started, please remember to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. Starting with the resort as a whole, where social distancing of 6 feet or 2 meters is no longer needed across the entire resort. Briefly, it was considered to be reduced to half the distance, 3 feet or 1 meter, but Disney was quick to remove physical distancing altogether. This now means that large crowds can now gather together unsocially distanced. Maybe this is hinting a return to fireworks and parades. Put your thoughts in the comments down below. Attractions have also started now seating every row and removing the use of plexiglass, meaning people from different households and bubbles can sit shoulder to shoulder. We've seen this on rides such as Tower of Terror and the One Man's Dream presentation, both in Hollywood Studios. Another huge restriction that has been lifted for the entire resort is the use of face coverings in outdoor communal areas. This is a huge leap for Disney World and guests can now go anywhere outdoors maskless. However, as soon as you go into an indoor shop or attraction, face coverings will have to be worn. This is because recent studies have shown that COVID can spread more quickly and easily indoors, therefore the risk of being outdoors is greatly reduced. Being indoors also counts for Disney World transports such as monorails, boats and buses. Universal Florida also dropped the use of face masks simultaneously with Disney World. Mask relaxation zones are still open around Disney World for guests to use. Possibly these may not be removed until measures on face masks indoors and outdoors are removed. Or maybe the stations are there for the guests that continue to wish wearing their face masks outdoors. Guests can now also eat and drink whilst walking around the park, whereas before guests would have to remain stationary to be maskless when eating. Announcements around the park reminding guests about the current COVID measures are currently not being played, but maybe this is because they are recording new messages for the new measures. We'll have to wait and see for the next few days. For guest safety, Disney World cast members will still continue to wear face masks as before. Before we move on to the final set of measures that have been eased, please check out my Patreon page in the description below. Sign up to get exclusive content like personalised messages, exclusive videos and shoutouts in my videos. Supporting my Patreon page helps my channel grow and help me get one step closer to Disney World. Disney World has now increased capacity from its previous 35%. We aren't quite sure what the new increased capacity is yet, but some reports suggest it could be as high as 50% of the pre-pandemic capacity. Disney World has removed the use of temperature screenings too ahead of its schedule. The checks were supposed to run until the 16th of May 2021, but were prematurely removed on the 15th. This may now rapidly speed up the amount of time it takes people to get into the parks.